Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend, my movie maniacs. Yes, we are cracking open the fourth bottle in our six-pack of shorties this week, and this one has some Milwaukee ties, as the cinematographer and co-producer of it is Joe Bose from Milwaukee. It's directed by Sam Casper, and it's called This Is Life, giving us the story of a man with a particular taste, and we see how he goes about getting this meat that he has a hunger for, how it affects his relationship relationships with ladies and just how he goes about his daily life to try to gain the sustenance uh, that he loves all done in a 70s nostalgia style that i uh totally appreciate and loved this film was highly unexpected to uh, be the way it was. And I loved that. It was refreshing original. I mean, we get a lot of these kind of grindhouse films, but this one really just felt like it was ripped right from the 70s and brought to the screen. Not only in the... Uh, um, in the costuming that he has uh, for all the characters in here. But the way it's directed, we get these fun split screens like you used to get in some of the 70s films where you get the action going on in one screen and the other. You get like a, a uh, uh, you know, an archive clip of uh, meat and, and what it's about and that. And and I enjoyed that because there's not a whole lot of dialogue in here. So you got to kind of pay attention. It does. It is a bit artsy, but it's not like, oh my God, it's artsy. No, it's done in a very, in a original approach to something that has been done many many times before especially in indie horror cinema and i love that the way the, the the shots were framed as well also felt like a 70s style film it really captured that spirit and outside of a few minor things in here i think it would be hard pressed to tell that this was more recently made than from the 70s uh you know i loved the music in here uh it, it was very fitting for the period that was supposed to take place and then archive footage that they play that old school meat uh, showing meat processing and, and a story of meat and how good it is and everything really helped tell this story of what was going on now with this footage from then and so it's a very intelligent original refreshing approach to the idea of people eating people and I can't recommend this one enough if you enjoy that 70s retro style. If you're looking for a grindhouse type film uh, with a different flair that doesn't feel blatant, doesn't feel like it's like, hey, oh, you know, Mr. Voice and oh, you know, it, but at the same time, it's dark, it's creepy, it's unnerving at how this some of this material is handled because you're like, holy crap, that guy could be walking behind me and I wouldn't even know it. And he's thinking I'm a filet mignon. So <laughs> this is life is a lot of fun. And uh, again, uh, put information down below for you about it. If you happen to have seen this short, please leave your comments. Love to hear your thoughts on this short film. Please subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much for visiting this little sliver of the internet. And until next time, remember, keep that ticket stub. Mm -hmm.